Hello again, Steve LeVar at the Golden West News Desk. In downtown Baghdad, it's now mid-afternoon and residents are well into the job of cleaning up after another night of devastation, compliments of the US and British Defence Forces. Operation Desert Fox came in two massive waves of missile and bomb attacks, which Iraqi officials claim have now killed 25 people and injured another 75. A devastated Perth family is demanding answers after their son fell victim to the deadly meningococcal disease. 17-year-old Matthew Catania died just hours after doctors diagnosed he had gastroenteritis and sent him home. A massive blast south of Southern Cross destroyed an explosives truck, the driver running for his life after failing to extinguish a fire on board. Seven tons of explosives going up just after midday. Holiday health warnings for the southwest resort town of Busselton as toxic blue-green algae chokes the Vass River. The algae can kill livestock and cause severe skin allergies in people. Water Resources Minister Kim Hames launching a major clean-up. And Australians Kate Blanchett, Geoffrey Rush and Peter Weir are among the nominees for this year's Golden Globe Awards. Blanchett nominated for her role in Elizabeth, Rush for Shakespeare in Love and Weir for The Truman Story. The awards are considered a reliable guide for the Oscars. To the weather, a severe thunderstorm advice for the goldfields in adjacent South Coastal District and a strong wind warning northwest Cape to Eucla. In the northern half, isolated showers and thunderstorms. In the gold fields in Eucla, scattered showers and thunderstorms contracting north overnight and clearing. In the southwest land division, isolated showers and thunderstorms in the east clearing overnight. Showers along the south coast tonight, drizzle tomorrow morning. Next, it's the Cash 3 draw, followed by a Friday night movie, Desperado. But for the moment, from the Golden West Newsroom, good night and have a great weekend.